Every great moment in our history began with a dream. Each bold leap forward was achieved by those willing to do anything to attain it. We are, all of us, leaving behind families, homes, the very birthplace of our species. Some for discovery, to see the unknown. Others for a new start. But today, whatever our reasons, we take the first steps toward a new future for humanity. Today, we begin to make our dream reality. Taking it easy for 600 years. Ryder, recon specialist, Pathfinder mission team. Pathfinder team, eh? The ones finding us a home. Can you make it somewhere tropical? Nice, warm ocean, summer year round? How about we get him a cup of coffee first? process saw the Andromeda Initiative evaluate thousands of potential habitable planets within the galaxy. Ryder, let's get you checked out. Look here. After discovering an unusually high ratio of potential candidates, or Golden Worlds, the Helios Cluster was selected as our destination. Now you are a part of the first wave of Arcs arriving in Andromeda, our new home for humanity. Makes it sound so easy, doesn't it? I hope not. I signed up for a little adventure before we settle down. Well, buckle up. Sounds like you'll get your wish. Yeah. Over here now, the Pathfinder wants you all on your feet right away. He said mission ready within the hour. Any idea why? No, but I'm guessing that's where your adventure comes in. Okay, everything checks out. Just one more thing before I send you on your way. Let's test your SAM implant. 
Sam, are you monitoring? Sam, are you online? Yes, Dr. Tapero. Good morning, Ryder. Are you feeling well? Ah, I just need a second to get my bearings. What's this about my implant? A routine check. After being in stasis, we want to make sure the connection's still live. As the team's mission computer, your well-being is my primary concern. Assuming the implants work as advertised, Sam sees what you see, in theory. We won't know for sure until we get you in the field. How are you feeling, otherwise? I'm ready to get to it. Readings confirmed. I detect an increased level of adrenaline in your system. The neural implant is functioning properly. Caffeine always did make me jumpy. You're all done. Let's get you on your way. Though you may want to hang around while we revive your sister, it always helps to see a familiar face. I don't like the sound of that. Sure. Sensors are scrambled. But it's good to see you're up. Feels like centuries since we spoke. This is the Pathfinder. Mission teams continue preparations. Cora, riders, report to the bridge. You heard him. Let's get... Uh, we have a problem over here. It's Sarah Ryder. What's wrong? I don't know. Have to check it out. Well, it looks like some sort of power surge hit the stasis pod. Are they okay? Remedy. I'm running a diagnostic now. Give it a second for the process. Did the seals theory. break? No. Physical integrity looks good. Well? There. The power cycle is green. No structural damage to the pod. All connections check out. It's just bad timing then. An interruption in the respiratory cycle, maybe. Ryder. Is my sister okay? Sarah's fine. Her vitals are strong. But the revival procedure was interrupted. I don't like the sound of that. Don't worry. It just means the process could take a bit longer than usual. Sam? My connection to Sarah's implant was suspended. However, her pulse, respiration, and brain activity are all normal. To be on the safe side, we'll need to keep her in a low-level coma for a while, then let her body regain consciousness naturally. She'll be fine. Glad to hear it. Thanks, Lexi. Keep us updated. Ryder, I'll wait for you at the door. Whenever you're ready to go. How do you want to handle this? Keep them in the pod for now. Round the clock monitoring. We don't know if they're in true stasis anymore. Damage control team to propulsion. Right. On the double. So parts of the body could be waking up. But others aren't. We can't be sure just yet. What? Don't worry, Ryder. We'll take care of her. She'll make it. Still in stasis. Vitals look good. Hi there. I'm Gian Garson, founder of the Andromeda Initiative. I'm here to welcome you to a whole new galaxy. The good news is, the hard part's over. We're here. If you have any questions now, just ask. 
Your current location is Ark Hyperion, housing the human population. Ark Barchero, the Solarian vessel, confirmed departure in 2185. The Asari ship, Ark Lucinia, confirmed departure that same year, as did the Turian Ark Natanis, embarking in 2185. The selection process saw the Andromeda Initiative evaluate thousands of potential habitable planets within the galaxy. After discovering an unusually high ratio of potential candidates, or Golden Worlds, the Helios Cluster was selected as our destination. Now you are a part of the first wave of ARCs arriving in Andromeda, our new home for humanity. Once the Pathfinder team's assessment is complete, Habitat 7 has been selected as the most likely candidate for colonization. The selection process saw the Andromeda Initiative after discovering a... Now you! Once the Pathfinder team's assessment is complete, Habitat 7 has been selected. The Pathfinder is responsible for exploring and assessing new worlds for outpost placement and settlement. Each arc is led by a Pathfinder who represents their species. The active duty Pathfinder assigned to Arc Hyperion is Alec Ryder. Current duty roster shows you are assigned to the Pathfinder mission team, Specialist Ryder. At present, Arc Hyperion has arrived in the Helios Cluster. Further mission updates are offline due to technical difficulties. As Recon Specialist, you are tasked with supporting the authentication of Golden World sites through exploration, mapping, and scientific analysis. Currently, you are to report for duty on the Command Bridge. The Andromeda Initiative encompasses all colonization efforts, including ARCs, Pathfinders, Outposts, and the Central Support Hub, the Nexus. The current location of the Nexus is... Unknown. Status of Outposts are... Unknown. I'm Gian Garson, founder of the Initiative. I think it's important we take a moment to reflect on the principles that brought all of us together. It started with a vision of a better future. A vision that you shape. Life in Andromeda can be anything we dare to dream. And I'm proud to help make those dreams come true. Drop me a note sometime. I'd love to hear how we're doing. It sounds amazing, doesn't it? Right up until you lose gravity. I've dreamed about this my whole life. I sure hope it matches the brochure. So good. How do you feel? Like I've got the world's worst hangover. So, your name's Lucas Greer? It was when we left. They need you on the Pathfinder mission team. Let's get you ready to go. So soon? Probably has to do with whatever knocked out the gravity. Another colonist here. Wow, that was weird. How do you mean? I don't remember dreaming or anything. One minute I'm in the Milky Way getting ready to sleep, and the next... You're two million light years away. No joke, we really flew that far? We really did. Welcome to Andromeda. Intermittent power outage. Got any food? I'm starving. We'll start you with some liquid protein. No pancakes? Your digestive system hasn't handled solid food in over six centuries. We need to go slow. Right. Man, just, just hearing that out loud. Six centuries. Yep. All without pancakes. What about liquid pancakes? Sorry, it's mushy, milky stuff. Tastes like paste. Well, you're not getting a tip.
Another colonist here. Engineering, be advised the sensor array has gone dark. Thank God nobody was in this. Engineering, this is Cryo Bay. We've got a pod that was damaged when we lost gravity. You'll probably want to send somebody over. upside down, or am I still dreaming? It left a nasty bump on your head. Let me take a look. First five minutes in Andromeda, and we're already crashing the car. You thought it'd be easy? No, but I figured any scars could wait till we land. Well? Hey there! Hell of a wake-up call, huh? Didn't expect that first thing out of stasis. Makes two of us. Hang in there. Enjoy your nap, Ryder? Don't think I'll need sleep for the rest of my life. Maybe another decade or two wouldn't have hurt. <laughs> right. Talk to you later. Catch you later. See you around. Any more coffee around here? You're on the Pathfinder team, aren't you? Yeah. Then I'd say you've had enough. No time for pit stops. on the second conduit. Hey, get on this one. I'll override the safeties. Got it. Ryder, try scanning the whole conduit. Look for the fault. There's no Power indication of a fault worse. in this. Relay 2C shows damage from a temperature spike. Found it. Bad relay. Ryder, can you go reset it? There! It's reset!
Thank God. That could have been the end of everyone in the cryo bay. Good job, Ryder. Now we can get to the tram. Call the bridge and tell Captain Dunn this won't hold for long. We're using the Climb will happen again. Nice job, McKenzie. Thanks. Talk about touch and go. I don't think we're out of the woods yet. Whenever we hit, sure did a number on us. Guess I'll start cleaning up this mess. That was close. Barely in Andromeda, and we're already scrambling. I sprained my ankle. The adventure begins. Let me take a look. Not sure your dad will see it that way. Yeah, I don't know. That would the be Ark hit something. Any Go ahead and take off. us to the bridge. No idea. They just said secure all bulkheads and await instructions. straightforward when you're two million light years from home. Worst case, we drift till the Nexus finds us. I'm not sure that's actually the worst case. What do you mean? I heard a radio report and Captain Dunn sounded pretty concerned. More than I've ever seen her. I wouldn't worry too much. She's good. And we have contingencies for practically everything. Yeah, everything we knew about in the Milky Way. This is a new galaxy. Cora Harper, report to the bridge. Helm control, report. We're drifting. Flight controls aren't responding. First priority is stopping these outages. Mainline power's been knocked out. We're on reserves, Captain. They won't last. What's our position? Unknown. We lost telemetry. Sam, we need eyes out there. Attempting to adjust sensor array. Alec, please. You may be Pathfinder, but this is my ship. Captain, the protocol's clear. In the absence of communication with the Nexus or the other arcs, we proceed to our appointed Golden World. Solid ground. If it's even out there. Nobody said anything about running into an energy cloud. And that's just a wild guess what we hit. Alec, I need to assess the damage. Stop the bleeding. We've got 20,000 people asleep on this ship. Let's give them a chance to wake up. Can you blame her? She is the captain. I think she gets the final word. Well, he might. This isn't about having the final word. Yes, sir. We're coming through. My god. Is that our golden world? That's Habitat 7. New Earth, if we're lucky. All of our long-range scans told us it was in the green zone. Perfect for human settlement. It doesn't even look the same. We don't know how bad it is yet. Still seems like it's our best shot. Maybe. There's just a lot on the line. Sam? The energy from the phenomenon is dumping our senses. Planetary conditions are unknown. We're marooned. 
20,000 souls adrift at sea. And when the power runs out and stays out, we need to know if that's safe harbor. And if it's not? As Pathfinder, it'll be my job to find an alternative. It's what we trained for. But if this goes well, we are already home. All right, just make it quick. Harper, the rest of the team should be awake by now. Have them spin up two shuttles. Planet Fallen 30. Yes, sir. A stubborn one, isn't he? He cares in his own way. Enough to give him a chance. I suppose you're right. He is our Pathfinder. If this doesn't work out, we'll need him more than ever. I need an ETA on our sensor repairs. We're blind out here. My sister's gonna hate that she missed this. Are all the riders adrenaline junkies? I guess it's in her blood. She beat me into the world by one minute. Couldn't wait to get started. Well, don't worry. I'm sure Sarah will pull through. When she does, she's gonna want stories. So, let's get out there and find her some. Right, you'll wanna get your helmet. And maybe stop at the good luck rock before we go. The what? It's an old superstition of your dad's. Better not. No bathroom breaks in this trip. <laughs> so just another boring day at the office, huh? Hell of a wake-up call. Kinda wish I'd hit the snooze button and slept another day. Or a year. You'd miss all the good parts. I always wondered what it was like when explorers crossed the ocean. Nothing but stars and dead reckoning to guide them. And a map that said, here be dragons. Well, if they made it, we can too. And maybe see a dragon along the way. Never know. Let's keep an eye out. And our distance. <laughs> On that note, I'd better get my gear in order. We scanned Andromeda. Everything was in the clear. How could things change like that? Looks like Dad's already suited up. Hang in there, Sarah. Ryder? Hey, Fisher, how's it going? I heard a rumor from the bridge that your dad and the captain aren't seeing eye to eye on this. She wasn't thrilled with the idea of the expedition, but my dad won her over. I heard you weren't a big fan of it either. It's her ship, her call. You got guts going against the old man. The way I see it, the Pathfinder team answers to the Pathfinder. Besides, your dad's the N7 here. He's got the best aim. I go wherever he goes. Hey, Ryder. It's Kirkland, right? Yeah. I think we met just before the Hyperion left Earth. Not sure if you know Greer. Hi there. Your dad say anything about what's going on? Tough to say. Sensors can't get a read on the planet. Well, at least it keeps things interesting. I still need an update yeah. It's a shame to go through all this training and not put it to good use. See you guys in the ride down. Sensor coverage, huh? Flying by the seat of our pants. I hate not knowing. You come to me and my business. The cloud gets in the way. The cars. Please be found in the book. Anything could have happened in dark space.
Good luck, Rock, huh? Your dad was mountain climbing back on Earth. It caught him from falling. The way things are going today, we'll need any luck we can get. Analysis indicates alkali feldspar and quartz, commonly known as granite. Got it. That should do it. The Pathfinder is now requiring sidearms. I've opened the armaments locker. We expecting trouble, Sam? A precaution. Please arm yourself, Ryder. I won't need this. You never know. Now let's get to the shuttle. We don't want to keep your father waiting. Dr. Carlyle, with everything going on, I think the Ark needs you more than we do. Pathfinder wants a medic on hand, and if that is home down there, I'm happy to knock on the door. If it's what we hope it is, it'll be one for the history books. You got a quote ready? One small step? I'm pretty sure your dad will handle that honor. All right, team, button it up. We leave in five. Sir, we broke out the weapons as requested. Anything we should know about? Seem prudent given the situation. We'll be short-handed with Sarah out. I heard what happened. Your sister's strong. She'll make it. We bet on whose boots would hit the ground first. This isn't how I wanted to win. <laughs> Well, knowing Sarah, she'll want to go double or nothing on who climbs the tallest mountain. Don't let it get you down. I need you sharp. I understand. Your mom would have been proud. Of both of you. Okay, team, listen up. I chose each of you for the Pathfinder team, not just because you're talented and passionate. But because you're dreamers, like me. We dream of exploring the unknown, of finding the edge of the map, and then discovering what lies beyond. When people look back on this, and they will, they'll remember we didn't give up. That we kept dreaming that our first few faltering steps in Andromeda were the beginning of everything they know. We only get one chance to be first. So, let's go make history. Been waiting 600 years for this. Thank you.